XRP allowed in China XRP will rise $9,000. Nowadays, many are arguing which of the cryptocurrencies has a greater potential for growth. Increasingly, there are thoughts that the supporters of XRP will emerge victorious from this struggle. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. What do you think the maximum price for XRP will be in 2022? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. Recently, there have been rumors that Alibaba contains a Ripple validator node. Ripple claims that this is not the case, but confirms that it is indeed preparing to enter the Chinese market. This is not surprising. Of course, Ripple wants to enter China, just like any other fintech company in the world that is aware of the scale and prospects of this step. And if Alibaba, or rather one of the divisions, does contain a node, then it would be wiser to deny this fact in order not to prematurely cause an increase in the token rate, which in turn may affect the terms of the transaction. In addition, if Alibaba does not contain a node, this does not mean that the companies are not discussing the possibility of cooperation. Indeed, the creation of such a partnership looks reasonable, and not only for these two companies. For Ripple, a San Francisco-based company that has raised almost $100 million to create an interbank transfer system, the opportunity is more than attractive. China's global trade volumes are growing, and with them the problems associated with cross-border payments, including capital controls, rapidly changing laws and relatively high fees. In addition, the growth of China's cross-border e-commerce, which already accounts for almost 20% of the country's foreign economic activity, requires fast and cheap cash flows. However, the formation of cooperation with any major bank in China seems to be a short-sighted decision, given the participation of the state and the barrier for foreigners to enter the system. Creating a connection with one of the internet giants interested in new technologies and having an extensive user base is a much more effective step to enter the market. However, large internet companies have their own payment channels and can cooperate with banks. Ripple primarily develops interbank solutions, not client solutions. Nevertheless, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse recently stated that he expects his company to begin providing services in the individual consumer market within five years. Given Alibaba's large-scale structure and global ambitions, a variety of applications can be found within the company for blockchain technology. Such work is already underway. However, of all the companies working in this field, Ripple can choose ANT Financial, which offers the most obvious short-term benefit. Recently, CEO and Financial gave an interview to CNBC, in which he confirmed that the company is considering the possibility of using blockchain to form the basis of Alipay, which has captured China's mobile payments market, estimated at $5.5 trillion. Another opportunity to create a joint project is Alibaba's global e-commerce platform, the creation of which was announced last year. The company is going to use it to establish bilateral ties between China and independent trading partners. The platform will be used for the delivery of goods, the discussion of tariffs, and, please note, the implementation of cross-border electronic payments. There may be other participants who want to take advantage of the Ripple system. For example, the actions of Chinese regulators indicate that they want to raise the transparency of operations to a new level as soon as possible. Last week, the People's Bank of China by order introduced control over all third-party mobile payments, which should begin to pass through the central platform by June next year, which will allow the regulator to receive information about payments and monitor illegal transactions. It is unlikely that something will change in the near future. There are also opportunities for the use of blockchain. Ripple's solution will allow transactions to be carried out without the need for centralized clearing, while at the same time allowing regulators to monitor cash flows. Taking into account all the above advantages, it can be assumed that the participants of the system are at least discussing the possibilities of cooperation. Another question is whether they will be able to overcome cultural, economic and technological barriers. If they can, then this step will be of great importance for the development of blockchain, cross-border payments and relationships on a global scale.
Ripple Labs managed TO stay strong in 2021 despite the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, attack on cryptocurrency, also known as the lawsuit against Ripple and its executives. Now the company dealing with payment solutions is celebrating the strongest year in history. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse announced the achievements and shared some comments on the SEC case. Ripple's first on-demand liquidity ODL, system was launched earlier this year in the third quarter of 2021. It is a payment solution that allows customers to instantly move money around the world at any time. This service first appeared as a corridor between Japan and the Philippines, which used the XRP token. They also recently announced the first deployment of ODL Ripple in the Middle East. Now, Ripple's report shows that XRP-based liquidity payments account for 25% of the total dollar volume via RippleNet. Garlinghouse noted the results and added that ODL tokens grew 25 times compared to the third quarter of 2020 and by 130% compared to the previous quarter. All this growth has come from outside the US for, sigh, obvious reasons, Garlinghouse tweeted. The report notes that Ripple ODL users have access to more than 20 countries for their payment needs, and the number of transactions on the Ripple network has more than doubled since the third quarter of 2020. Ripple did not forget to mention the impact of regulatory uncertainty, noting that their ODL flows to the US were virtually stopped. However, the volume of international ODL continues to grow. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler is known in the cryptocurrency world, but not for good reasons. Since filing a lawsuit against Ripple and two of its executives a year ago, many have feared the possibility of becoming the subject of coercive measures. Gensler has repeatedly called cryptocurrency the wild west of our financial system, and Brad Garlinghouse does not agree with this, as does the community. The CEO of Ripple stated that calling cryptocurrency the Wild West is a farce, noting that Gary Gensler has adopted an aggressive anti-cryptographic approach, which, as he claims, forces companies to go outside the United States. He noted that Web 2 was built with many American companies and suggested that Web 3 might not be given the same chance. Garlinghouse argues that most cryptocurrency-related companies comply with the requirements of financial regulators around the world and added that this industry should not be punished for demanding regulatory clarity and regulation that is consistently applied on equal terms. Garlinghouse referred to the lack of clarity from the Securities and Exchange Commission, which refuses to answer questions about the legal status of Ethereum and asked, the live XRP price today is zero US dollars and 74 cents with a 24-hour trading volume of 12 billion 630 million US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.44% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to rise to one dollar? Write your answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos.